Every new generation of wireless networks deliver faster speeds and more functionality to our smartphones. 1G brought us the very first mobile phone. 2G let us text for the first time. 3G brought us online and 4G delivers the speeds that we know and enjoy today. But as more users come online, 4G networks have just about reached the limit of what they're capable of at a time when users want even more data for their smartphones and their devices. Now we have 5G, the next generation of wireless. It claims it'll be able to handle 1,000 times more traffic than today's network and it'll be up to 10 times faster than 4G. Just imagine downloading full HD videos in under a second or video conferencing without any lag. 5G will be the foundation for virtual reality, autonomous driving, the internet of things and stuff that we can't even imagine. We've heard so much about 5G that I thought we need to test it for ourselves. And for this, we're gonna hit the road with the Samsung Note 10 Plus 5G to see what all the fuss is about. g is currently being rolled out in various countries across the world and we have headed to our nearest enabled 5g city we're at manchester media city uh, so as you know when you look into the top corner of your device is your device's connectivity you're more than likely to have 4g or god forbid 3G and the higher the number means the faster the speed but for a business or a device that is used for business what does it all mean 5G is a massive improvement on how we connect to the internet and how we communicate with each other. So, in fact, as 5G rolls out, it's going to change, well, everything with a wireless connection, which at this point pretty much means everything. So, what is so special about the 5G future? Well, to start with, it's fast, like really fast, like 20 gigabits per second over wireless fast. It's the equivalent to 100 or maybe even 200 times faster than 4G. On average, 4G gives us 10 to 20 megabits per second. So that's like going streaming one Netflix 4K video to 800 movies in 8K at the same time. And even though that's impressive, it's not the impressive part. It's the low latency part of 5G, the rate which is the delay in sending and receiving of information. So as we will soon be sending and receiving information it will, in what will be real time, this means that we can use 5G to replace real time interactions. So what does all this mean? With 5G, you'll be able to interact with people, objects or characters controlled by someone else with no lag on either side. You'll be able to control objects with other people simultaneously, put on a headset and drive a car that's somewhere else in real time or better yet, drive itself. Surgeries could be done with the surgeon and the patients on other sides of the world. That could be saving lives in parts of the world where time could mean the difference between life and death. But it's not all bells and whistles. There are some drawbacks to 5G. 5G uses a mix of frequencies. It uses the brand new millimeter waves. So these shorter waves and higher frequency means they have a massive problem. They don't go very far. You can be 300 meters away from the mast and it could just drop out and revert you back to the trusting 4G network. It can't go through walls or bad weather like rain. But what does all this mean? It means building more transmitters, like multiple transmitters at every couple of hundred meters in every direction. So we thought we would go and test out the brand new Samsung Note 10 Plus 5G and see what all the 5G fuss is really all about. So let's test out 5G and see if it's all really worth it. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we're here with the Samsung Note 10 Plus 5G device, and you have to be, in order for this to work, relatively okay. You have to be really close to the node or the uh, the mast, if you will. And our nearest one is just over there. I don't know if you can see it at the top of the building just there. There are three on top of that building. Let's see if the speed is all really worth it. So. We've got our mast up there, we've got the 5G. Let's give it a try. Let's see what speeds we can get up to. Over on the 4G device, it was download speeds of 2.38 megabits per second, but over on 5G, a massive 199 megabits per second. So a huge difference in between the two. But the question is, 5G, is it all really worth it? What do you think? 
5G technology is set to influence everything we do. It's no longer about connecting people to people via smartphones. 5G will connect an infinite range of devices, tools, apps and platforms to each other and to us all day, every day. The opportunity for this technology to influence productivity and automation will have a huge impact on businesses of all sizes across all sectors. So with the ISDN switch off coming in the next few years, could you and your business make the move to 5G sooner than you think? We'll just have to wait and see as 5G is well on its way.